Hi all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Just about three videos ago, I told you the terrifying story of an 11-year-old girl who escaped a kidnapper who tried to grab her while she walked to school in Arizona. If you missed it, you might want to go back and check it out. In that video, I said police are warning that kidnappers are out and about. Well, here we are again, with another terrifying story just days later, about another 11-year-old girl in Knoxville, Tennessee. Only this time, she was taken. But she wasn't followed and grabbed on the street. No, not this one. She was lured quietly out of her home at night by an online predator. Seven, the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation issuing an endangered child alert for a missing 11 year old girl out of Knox County. We first told you about this yesterday at 7. KCSO says Aubriana Nisa Mays, known as Bree, left her home without permission between 1030 on Tuesday night and Wednesday morning around 615. Officials believe she may be in the Halls community. If you see Bree or know anything about where she could be, call 911. Police say she went missing from her home overnight, and they were notified on January 30th of 2024 that she was gone. Then two days later, which had to be two days of pure hell for her parents, they got a tip that a 38-year-old man with a long criminal history who was on the sex offender registry in Georgia may have had something to do with her disappearance, which had to have made it a thousand times worse. So, police acted quickly on the tip and were able to obtain a phone number belonging to the man, Edward Ahrens, that they would then use to track his location. They tracked him heading south on Interstate 75, heading to Georgia, so they used multiple police cars to follow him and try to block him in. Once they had eyes on him on the freeway, they saw a missing 11-year-old Abriana Mays in the car with him. The vehicle is getting off of exit 1 coming southbound. They're going to be right there at the intersection. Then we'll get him as soon as he crosses the line. But when police pulled Aaron's over, he decided not to go quietly. And he began ramming his car into the police cars, hitting three officers who were on foot. Shots have been fired. Shots have been fired. Police say four officers fired at Aaron's in the vehicle, with Abriana still inside, killing him. But Abriana was not injured, and the three officers hit with Aaron's car are said to have sustained only minor injuries. Thank God. Good evening, I'm Lori Tucker. And I'm Bo Williams. Our top story tonight, an endangered child alert ended this morning right at the Tennessee-Georgia line. An 11-year-old Knox County girl missing since Tuesday was found safe in a car driven by suspected kidnapper Edward Ahrens, who was shot and killed by officers. WAT6 on your side reporter Naomi Hilmer joins us now here in the studio. So Naomi, I know you've been looking into Ahrens' disturbing history and how the child ended up with him. Lori Bo, nearly three days after the endangered child went missing, the Knox County and Catoosa County Sheriff offices, along with their local Tennessee agencies, located the endangered child and the suspect. The Catoosa County Sheriff says this was a case of a quote, young child being lured by sexual predator through social media that could have ended the young girl's life. The suspect, identified as 38-year-old Edward Ahrens from Ringgold, Georgia, was a registered sex offender and had significant criminal history. According to the Georgia Department of Correction Records, in 2003, he served 10 years of probation for eight counts of aggravated assault and four counts of obstruction of justice. Five years later, he was arrested for possession of child pornography and was charged with nine counts of sexual exploitation of children and served a 10-year sentence. Law enforcement followed the suspect's vehicle early this morning as it exited Interstate 75. He and the child were traveling southbound, heading toward Georgia when the police encountered Aaron's. They say he refused to surrender and attempted to run over three police officers with his vehicle, prompting them to fire their weapons. Striking Aaron's, he later died in a nearby hospital. Imagine this man had your child. And imagine he was able to lure your child out of your home in the middle of the night, 
right out from under your nose. All because you didn't know what your child was doing online. Who he or she is talking to? Aubriana survived. But how long would she have survived if police didn't find her? And where was Aaron's taking her on I-75 going south? I hope he didn't hurt her while he had her. But after what she's been through? Even if you just count the shooting alone? I'd say she's seen more horror than she bargained for. And she'll probably never leave her house again. But think about it. She's eleven. What could he have said to her to lure her out of her house at night? What could an online predator say to your child to lure your child out of your house in the middle of the night? If the thought of that just gave you chills, good. Because if you're going to let your child go online, then you don't have the luxury of just sitting back, trusting them, and believing it can't happen to you. Because it can. No way your child's getting lured out of your house? Good. Awesome. Glad to hear it. But tell me, how often does your child spend the night at a friend's house or somewhere else? Why do I ask? No particular reason. Just making conversation. Thank you all so very much for watching. I appreciate you. And please, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more true crime stories. Talk to your children and grandchildren about stranger danger, both online and in the real world. Talk to them, talk to them again, and keep talking to them, even when they're rolling their eyes at you, because you're planting a seed that might one day save their lives. And it's worth the I knows and the you already said that like a hundred times because the hundred and first time might be the time it sinks in. If you already do, excellent. Keep it up. Because in this world we live in today, you can either endure some eye rolls and dismissive comments or days of hell wondering if a sexual predator has your child, where he or she is, and whether or not you'll ever see him or her again. Unfortunately, not every parent gets their child back. Sometimes, evil wins. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you on my next video.